Now that Daniel Craig has finally earned some time to die, revisit the six canonical films of the best damn James, not you, Bond ever. Doesn't count. Every Connery Bond. Sean Connery stars as James Bond, England's most Scottish spy. I'm a very nervous passenger. A secret agent who was already too old for this sh by his second outing. Whatever you say, old man. But James brings a unique set of skills to the table, like being famous. My God, you just killed James Bond. <sighs> Disguise, fighting like your drunk stepdad. <laughs> and being one of the all-time greatest Baccaratters. Baccaratists? Baccarat guys. Cock. Cock. Eight. Vita la mort. Yeah, no clue what's going on here. This game might as well be Quidditch. James won't bond alone. Joining him is M, a character you could easily replace with a self-destructing tape player from Mission Impossible. Q, the only mad scientist on Bond's side, who gives him every gadget from Chekhov's poison briefcase to Chekhov's helicopter briefcase. Miss Moneypenny, proof that MI6 may have an M and a Q, but it's definitely missing an H and an R. Next time I see you, I'll put you across my knee. On yogurt and lemon juice? Uh, I can hardly wait. And whichever lucky girl James traps on his sex boat at the end of each film. They can't refuse because of the implication. But no matter how great the risk, if you help James Bond accomplish his mission, he will never let you get killed. Now don't worry, Quaddle, everything's going to be fine. <laughs> okay, maybe once. See you in the restaurant, car. They killed each other. Once or twice. You wanted to ask me some questions. Okay, constantly. <laughs> Oh, hey, it almost looked like he cared about her. Oh, you know what that's called? Character growth. Set off on your typical Connery Bond adventure that begins with a lounge singer bursting a blood vessel. <laughs> before globetrotting from the bluest depths of the ocean to some of the most exotic locales you can pretend to drive through, where Bond will track the bad guy to their bachelor pad of evil, quip on the still warm grave of their henchmen. Oh, he blew a fuse. Then take down the real threat a rich European man with the physique of an egg. This is the ideal evil body. You may not like it, but this is what peak evil performance looks like. In between all the classic moments you remember. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Settle in for all the classic busy work you forgot these old movies were full of as you join Bond on a marathon of exciting meetings, briefings, and interviews. The Prime Minister and the President have talked together over the hotline and have agreed that unless the bombs are recovered, payment will have to be made. Watch him meticulously secure his bedrooms. get driving directions. You leave the Port Royal Road out of Kingston, then along the Windward Road, until you get to the cement factory. Then you turn left. Follow the road up the hill, down the other side, and two miles further... And check into his hotel. We're here to make your stay as pleasant as possible. That's really most kind of you. Do we really need this part? Ah, Mr. Bond, your room is ready. We do? My key. It's 304, please. Oh, thank you. Again? Good night. Good night, Mr. Bond. Well, I think it's about hotel time. Why? Return to a time where everyone was a drunken chain smoker, so it didn't take too much to knock him out cold. <laughs> to the point where being a sober incel gave you superpowers. Vargas does not drink, does not smoke, does not make love and watch James take on Spectre, the vegans of crime, and that it's only a matter of time before they let you know that they're Inspector. I'm a member of Spectre, Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, Extortion. Oh, I'm now working for Spectre. Spectre always delivers what he promises. Welcome to Spectre Island. These Illuminatis have an evil plan to disrupt the space program, steal nuclear missiles, and well, they just kind of ping-pong between those two plans. There's a real brain drain when you keep killing your co-workers. <laughs> this is why SpaceX will never get to Mars. 
Bond may have a license to kill, but it's the Bond girls who give him a license to say push. Every girl James meets along the way has the shape of an hourglass and the name of a drag queen. Sylvia Trench. Plenty of tools. Pussy galore. Honey. Ryder. What's so funny about it? And whether they get to be a character with their own motives and agenda, or a sexy baby who just kind of washes up on shore, Bond will get them into bed with little more than a look. All the things I do for England. Except for the times when he has to force them. or blackmail them. I'd lose my job. I suppose my silence could have a price. You don't mean... And that's before he smacks them around a little. <laughs> Though how much of this is Bond and how much is Connery, we'll never know. I think it's absolutely right. To give a good slap. Yeah, absolutely. Yikes. So enjoy this iconic defender of the empire, responsible for most of the world's problems in an English fantasy where they're still at the center of geopolitics as we salute this heroic dinosaur who simply refuses to go extinct no matter how many times he should have been killed by Spectre. <laughs> or liver disease. I told the stewardess, liquor for three. Who are the other two? Oh, there are no other two. Or chlamydia. They're both yours. Or parody. Yeah, baby, yeah! or bankruptcy. Unfortunately, they ran out of money. Or Swedish humping machine. Ah! Or just plain old irrelevance. That's as bad as listening to the Beatles and not earmuffs. We all keep coming back for more. And by more, I mean Lazenby, then Connery, then more, Craig, Brosnan, Dalton. Yeah, that's my ranking. Fight me. Starring. Hashtag meet 207 Judy Dench. Origins. Tinker Taylor, older guy. Simpat, Dr. No, Daniel Craig, I love gold, Blowhard, you can't play his odd job, he's shorter, that's cheating, Dick Fury, fellas, is it gay to try to assassinate James Bond with your bros, Soviet vehicle physics, Bad editing. He was right, you know. What is it? I'll show you. Nature, you scary. Waits until the survivor is so exhausted that he cannot defend himself. You will see that my piranha fish get very hungry. You know how I know you're an alcoholic? I'd say it was a 30-year-old fiend indifferently blended, sir. With an overdose of bonbois. 51, I believe. There is no year for sherry, 007. I was referring to the original vintage on which the sherry is based, sir. 1851. Don't mistake it. I like sake. Especially when it's served at the correct temperature. 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit, like this is. And Kobe! For my next miracle, I... The spy who f***ed me. Okay, so what's up with the gun barrel opening? I know it's a classic, but like, is that what a bullet sees before it fires? And if the guy holding the gun gets shot, why do we see blood dripping down if we're inside the gun? So, how much has this dinosaur changed since the 60s? We track the evolution of the James Bond franchise from Connery to Craig in a breezy little jetpack ride through Bond history. Click the thumbnail on the right to watch now. Everything all of Sean Connery in honor of the original James Bond. I say, I say, I say. Hello, Sydney. It's in honor. Your mom is green. What would Scooby Dooby Dooby do? Do. You're my snickerdoodle. We have all the time in the world.